so it's a feature length length film. Okay, we're rolling. Um, right. One of the questions she's asking is, um, what do you think the importance of fungi is at this point um, in the whole kind of transition to sustainability? Where where can they help? Well, I think fungi is critically important at this stage in the evolution of life on this planet simply for the fact that we look at the evolutionary history. Um, we know there's been at least two major extinction events after which uh, fungi inherited the earth. 250 million years ago, there was a, the greatest extinction. More than 90% of the species in the fossil record disappeared suddenly. And there's three theories. One, the methane hydrate burst out of the oceans, volcanoes in Siberia, or an asteroid impact. I don't see them as mutually exclusive. The asteroid impact could, could have tr tr triggered the volcanoes and the methane hydrate outburst. But in any event, the earth became shrouded, shrouded in dust. There's a massive die off of species. And th those organisms that associated with fungi survived. So fungi inherited the earth 250 million years ago after this big extinction event. Then 65 million years ago, we had another extinction event. The asteroid impact we know hit the earth and the earth was shrouded in dust and the ratio of pollen to fungal spores at the PT boundary at the Permian Triassic boundary was 10 to 1 and directly after that event there were no pollen spores for hundreds of years thousands of years it was all, all fungal spores so we know that there's two extinction events the lesson in the evolution of life on this planet is those organisms that paired with fungi survived extinction events now we're in 6x the greatest extinction event seen since then and by reports, though, it's a thousand times more severe, number one, because we have more species, but we're losing a thousand times more species than any other extinction event previously in history. So we live in our lifetimes, and we think that everything's fine, and, you know, the, the grass is green, the, the air is clean, everything is fine, but in geological time, this is just a small blip. And when we look at the degradation of habitats, we're in the middle of an extinction event that we can't even see or comprehend. We're losing more species than we can even determine that there are. And there's more species in the ground that we haven't identified than there are that we've identified by orders of magnitude. So as the ecosystems unravel, and we benefit here from being a, having a plurality of microorganisms that sustain us. And so I may be Paul Stamets speaking with one voice, but I'm a community of microbes unified together as an organism living in symbiosis, but not only within my own body, but in contact with all the microbes around me. And as we lose species in the ecosystem is like losing rivets in an airplane at what point will we have so much loss of biodiversity we'll have catastrophic failure and i think we're right in the middle of that catastrophic failure emerging right now people talk about tipping points and the concern that i think a lot of us who have knowledge bases and our specialties that are now collaborating and sharing information is that this tipping point is really moving us very very quickly towards a massive ecological failure and as we have failure of the food chains which fungi sustain as we have diseases and poverty and terrorism um, then the immune system of the habitats is impugned as well as the individuals living within it and disease vectors will, will proliferate and there's one lesson of nature is that if any organism exceeds the carrying capacity of its ecosystem the ecosystem revolts against it and we have extinction events so we are at the point right now that if we don't wake up and engage microorganisms as our allies and intelligently work with them, then they will uh, re seek revenge against us. I think that's just the way of the balance of nature and organisms. And 99% of all species in the evolution of life on this planet have become extinct. So that's an extinction is a normal consequence of life. Now we're conscious of that, perhaps more so than other organisms, or debatably, some people can say we're not conscious of that. But I think we're, we're very quickly moving down a slippery slope. You know, and so this is a concern that I have in terms of sustainability. Sustainability has to engage microorganisms, especially fungi, that build the food web of life. And if we don't invest in them, then they will divest of us. One of the, the ultimate aims of the... Um